Hello everyone. Welcome back to our lecture series in Gating Data Science and AI. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the propositional logic and this is part C. Okay. So in part A, we have discussed about introduction to a logic, like what is knowledge, what is sentence, right? All those things we have discussed. In the last lecture, that is part B, we have discussed about different types of operators, right? And and we have also discussed few uh, important laws and we have solved a couple of examples also right now in this case we are now in this video we are going to discuss about how we can apply this propositional logic in our ai part okay so how we can apply a propositional logic concept in our ai right so okay so let's start with the model first right so up till now what we have discussed okay we have some proposition p and q right if it is uh and we know it is true or false right and then based on that we can make some inferences or draw conclusion but by, by just reading the sentences right and using some uh, propositional logic so we can like as a human i can directly tell that okay after this after reading these two sentences i can directly come to a conclusion so how this ai will come to know that this particular proposition or sentence is true or not right so if this is true then the negation of this particular supposition is will be false so how this ai will come to know for that there is a model okay so what is model in this case so model is an assignment of truth value to every proposition right so model will assign a truth value to every proposition right so to reiterate propositions are statement about the word that can be either true or false right so as a human being i know okay this is true this is false right? this can be uh this can be possible so it is true but how this ai will get to know so this is based on the model so model will assign a truth value to every proposition either it can be true or false okay however knowledge about the word is represented in the truth values of this proposition yes by model the model is the truth value assignment that provides information about the word yes that is true now let us consider these two sentences or proposition so p is basically it is raining and q is it is a tuesday right so if i tell okay let us consider there are few possibilities that p is true and q is false so p is true means it is raining but what is q q equals to false if i assign q equals to false it means that it is not a tuesday right this statement is false it is not a tuesday so depending upon the combination i can keep any combination for example both statement can be true it is raining also it, it is a tuesday also or this can be false it is not raining but it can be tuesday also right so depending upon the truth value of this particular proposition we can uh, come to a conclusion right after this after reading both the uh, truth values we can come to some conclusion right so this is a work of particular model okay i hope you understand the concept of uh, model here now what is knowledge base so what are the data we are going to uh, feed or information going to uh, fit to a particular ai model right that is indicated by a knowledge base that is kb right so all the data or information has been put inside this particular knowledge base right and the knowledge base is a set of sentences known by a knowledge base agent right and this is a knowledge that ai is provided about the world in the form of proposition logic sentences yes in the form of pro proposition logic sentences for example p and negation of q implies p so this type of pro proposition logic will be used by a knowledge base to uh, infer something from that right and that can be used to make additional inferences about the world okay so we'll discuss that also so i hope you understand what is knowledge base here so like based on the knowledge base only so based on the knowledge uh, base only so ai will come to a particular conclusion right it can infer some information about a particular uh, thing right so this is based on so all this is based on the knowledge base only if you take an example of open ai okay that is chat gpt for example chat gpt okay so chat gpt is also based on the knowledge base right so it is trained up to data of 2021 right and based on the data of 2021 it is giving us the output it will read the query and based on that it will go to a knowledge base and it will uh, fetch the output right but this is advanced architecture so we are not going into detail part but overall i hope you understand the concept of knowledge base right so what is entailment so entailment is basically if alpha is true right if alpha is true right then beta must be true right in beta must be true right this is not equal to alpha implies beta no this is different thing right 
this alpha implication we use as a connector right so we are using as a connector here we are not using as a connector right so here this alpha until beta is not a connector here so what we are saying in every model in which sentence alpha is true sentence beta is also true right this is what we are saying okay so for example what i can say suppose alpha is it is tuesday it is a tuesday in january okay the tuesday in january right and can i say then beta it is january right if alpha is true then can i infer this information from this particular alpha that's until right so then we know that alpha until beta it means that if it is true if alpha is true that is tuesday is in january we also know that it is january right from this alpha we know that it is a tuesday in january and it is in january right so from this i can say okay beta it is january right so we are inferring something from this particular alpha right this is what entailment is right so entailment is basically different from implication okay implication is just the logical connection between two proposition here you can see alpha and beta but on the other hand entailment on the other hand is a relation that means if that all the information in alpha is true right then all the information is beta is true like all the information if alpha is true then all the information in beta is also true right so where we can use this particular concept okay so let us discuss with the help of an example okay suppose this is my alpha okay if it rained if it didn't rain ravi visited mumbai today ravi visited mumbai or goa today but not both and ravi visited goa today right this is my knowledge base or we can say alpha value and all the statements are individually true then from this can i say can i entail this information like beta ravi did not visit mumbai today because ravi already visited goa today and he cannot visit both city at the same time yes this is also correct because i am inferring this particular information from alpha right and it rained today also because if it didn't rain ravi visited mumbai today it means uh, ravi visited goa so it means it rained today also right so this type of information i can get by just looking at the alpha value right so i can entail the information from the alpha right if all the information in alpha is true then all the information in beta that we got from the alpha value is also true right so this is what inferences is right this is what we have discussed is inferences the process of deriving new sentences from the old one right and here you can see we have three old sentences and we have derived these two new sentences and this is called as inference okay so i hope you understand the difference between inference and entailment okay now let us take this example p is it is a tuesday q is it is raining today and r is harry will go for a run okay now this is our knowledge base okay this is a sentence right so our model we check which is true uh, it will assign the truth value right and this is a knowledge base in knowledge base we have fed this particular propositional uh, logic expression so p or sorry p and negation of q implies r okay so this information is present also it is present that p is true so p means it is a tuesday and also it is present that it is negation of q negation of q means it is not raining okay so this information is present in my knowledge base okay this particular proposition and this p and this negation of q is present in my knowledge base now so i have to infer r from that so what will be my uh, r in this case so let's discuss right so for that we use one method that is model checking right that is model checking okay so what is this model checking we'll discuss that so what is model checking to determine if k b entailed alpha okay so what we have discussed just before alpha entailed beta right that means if all the information alpha is true then all the information of a beta must be true because beta is getting uh, inferred from this from alpha only so same thing we can apply here this is knowledge base okay and all the information of our knowledge base is considered as true then all the information of alpha will be considered as true also because it is inferred from this knowledge base only right so it enumerate all possible models right based on all the possible models if in every model where kb is true alpha is true then kb entails alpha right if in every model this satisfies this condition that alpha sorry this kb is true my knowledge base is true 
then alpha is true then kb entails alpha this is very important condition otherwise kb does not entail alpha right so if alpha is not true so i cannot uh, say that this is inferred from this particular knowledge base right so this is what a model checking is whether my alpha is getting uh, inferred from knowledge base or not right so same example this is my p this is my q this is my r and in the knowledge base we have p and negation of q implies r p is there p is there means it is tuesday that is a true value negation of q means it is raining so negation of q will be it is not raining so all model so my model has assigned the truth value to this specific uh, proposition right and this three we uh, have in knowledge base so our query is what is r right so what will be my r so this is a truth table so like there are different uh, possibilities right like false 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 no so there are total eight possibilities in total because there are three uh, propositional right now if you observe here right so now if you observe here so my p must be true right my p must be true it means that uh this is not a valid uh, thing because my p must be true right so we have left the four options also negation of q must be true so negation of q is also true because we are considering knowledge base is true so in this case it is not running so negation of uh, q will be what uh, false if this is true the negation of q will be false so our false will be uh, this one this one this one and this one right right but by just looking at these two proposition i can say this row this row this row this row is not applicable and also this is this is not applicable because it is true here so only i left with this true uh, this two rows right because true and false is satisfied for both the uh, proposition right but it depends on my r value also so r is in this specific pro proposition so p and negation of q implies r so it is tuesday and it does not train then harry will go for run so what does it indicate p means it is tuesday and means negation of q negation of q is it is it is not trained okay so let me write it down negation of q is basically it is uh, not trained it not trained okay it not trained suppose for example it not trained okay so my p and negation of q will be it is a tuesday and it not trained then harry will go for a run it means that if there is a tuesday and it does not rain then harry will go for a run right this is what we want to say so what we can infer from the r so when this will be true we have seen the truth table of alpha uh, determine sorry alpha implies beta or we can say p implies q so we have seen the truth table of the specific implication also right right so when this will be true so like we have to find the query r so r if we consider as a true so when this will be true like for all the cases when it is true right then we can say it is true so in this case so in this case i will eliminate this thing so the correct row will be this right true false true right this one so if i just go through uh row by row so what will be my knowledge base here it is false so false and false is false false implication false is false false and false implies true is basically a false right so false uh, and false implies false is also false right so only thing is that is the specific row so true false true then my knowledge base will be true so how does it work so p is true so p is true and negation of q will be false so in this false so this is true so true and true will be true and my r should be true also right so this is what it will satisfy my implication of the specific knowledge base so only a uh, condition is this only right so i hope you understand how we can so so i hope you understand how ai will determine whether this specific uh, condition is true or not so my query will be harry will go for a run or no yes he will go for a run but what is the condition it it is a tuesday and it should not train so our ai will give us the answer like harry will go for a run only when if it is a tuesday if it is not raining okay so if it is a tuesday and not training then harry will go for a run so this information will be given by our ai right and so this is the case yes 
so i hope you understand this particular example so that's it from this particular uh, lecture okay nothing in that so we have just discussed this example uh, that's it and please uh, remember this thing in what is inferences what is entanglement okay what is this alpha entel beta so this is what is what is this alpha entel beta this very important concept so you need to remember that okay so that's it from this particular lecture so one more lecture is remaining for this propositional logic and then we are done with this propositional logic okay thank you